good work here by Toyo is despite the fact that things kind of went wrong for them on this rotation, they still end up taking over advantage on the rats. And now we cut back to the Sonics and Falcons where the Falcons have turned things around. Two knocked on the Sonics. You can see damage being dealt on the Shrimsy who's sticking the res onto Tig. Now they know that the numbers game is in their favor, but Shrimsy forced to step on off. He swings around the corner, finds Rello, and he gets a second Dirty one. swing. Shrimsy, call him Hemsy because he is just something else. And why not? Why what? not just get the kill on the cowboy? What? Hold up. You've lost another? Hey, okay. But do Legacy now, seeing that zone shift go extremely to the north, just forget about it and go as far as they can. We're like Sonics and potentially dangerous. <laughs> Slappy's just been sent into space. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Slappy unfortunately came out on the wrong side of that fender. And now Tickleton, with only 30 HP, is just going to go ahead and push into Theros, gets him low, but won't get the knock. As now Kickstar with 2 HP, he's in the fight of his life here, and he's going to come out on top against Tony with 2 HP left in the tank. Kick is nuts, man. The congestion is probably going to be on the south side and towards the center. You know the north and west are probably going to be fairly clear here as Shrimsy will spot out Mug. That'll be the first knock taken by Mutt as H-Win has Trisk pinned inside. Just going to try to lay down a smoke to slow things down and H-Win's not going to let him. We'll push immediately in there. Now Glock is on the high ground here for potentially dangerous, but Sonic spots him out and they realize the situation. So they'll go ahead, try to flush out their kills, get their points and reset. Good zone position, not picking up a lot of kills in the kill feed just yet, but, oh, Kickstart spotted him. They know he's here. Plants is gonna oh. flee, but tiggleton has got his number. Down he falls. They're looking to finish what they started. Yeah, and people wants to just med as long as he can, but Sonic's progressing through the lobby. That's B, that's gonna be Kick confirming one, and that'll be H1 confirming the other. Sonic's will deal the killing blow. They should be able to get everybody back on their feet as well, securing some position, but do be best you're pushing. Best you know Sonics are weak. They heard the gunfight. They know Shrimsy's down. Why not up the aggression at this point as Tiggleton further up to the north? He's having his way with the gas cans. But, oh, here we go. Here we go. The deadly bush. Technosh is about to come into play. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, uh, never mind. Hikram, yeah. I said Hikram was a good spot too. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What does Gibson know? Well, unfortunately, Sonics do spot out Hikerman, and uh, they just pepper him with all types of utility until he goes down. Luna Galaxy will get finished off by Falcons in the end, getting right up in the grill of Team Falcons. Do they know, do they have any indication that there might be somebody right in their midst? Well, they do now. Mine pops on up and he gets a kill and a flush onto Roth, the player that replaced them on Falcons. This is a bit of a grudge match for mine with the teams that are left alive because he played for Sonics and Falcons. Now he finds himself playing for one of the best teams in South America. Sonics up to 11 kills. Now they've gone from 9 to 11 and you'd want to be calling 911 for the rest of the lobby right now with the way they have been playing. They're securing the north. Bestia going for the res though. How clutch could that be? Bestia, I, I just don't know. I don't see a way into the cir circle really for either of these teams. Oh, what a need. Oh my goodness, that opens up a door right there. Big needs from Bestia and now Sonics Shrimsy coming in at exactly the worst time for Bestia as they wanted to go and capitalize off those two great grenades. And now Falcons, it's all down to Snakers, it looks like. He's not going to be able to go for these revives. And meanwhile, yep, that's going to be Bestia. Eliminated Sonics just collapse. They close the fist on top. They've got Snakers behind the rock. Can Snakers get at least one more point off of this? No, sir, he cannot. 16 kills and a Sonics win on Tego. But it looks like Sonics is waiting, oh, no. waiting as the car is mm. going to come through and he's going to find 3115 right off the bat. Karak very close here as well. You can see the range uh, at the top of the hill. They still have eyes on this, so it's not completely free, but Shrimsy wants all of this. He's not wasting any time and the rest of the boys have arrived and Karak will go down to Tickleton. Oh, poor scouting Typhon. You know what? I, you can't blame them. The Vake, the bus was inside the shed. There was no way they could have known. But Sonics tell them no room at the end. Two more points for them as they extend that lead up to the at the top by 11 now. We check back in with those same Sonics. Typhon just off to the west. 
Page one will find a grenade onto Gabri. The second grenade, will it be enough? No, Ryan Zera will stay alive for now. But the Sonics boys, they are very much keyed in on this. And actually it's gonna be Benya that steals away both. So food taken out of the mouths of the Sonics boys, and they don't like that. They're gonna look out towards Bestia, and they're gonna spot out Draft King. Tiggleton will get the knock. Sonics don't need to eat, though. Look, Emmy, Emmy from Toyo, Texas, they're hungrier than Sonics right now. Peepa's gonna get spotted out by Shrimzy, looking to deal some revenge the other way for the stolen kills. Oh. There was the car. He saw the oh, car. car. Oh, okay. I was like, you. I, I thought that it looked like a helmet as well, didn't it? I, it did, at least what I saw it, but yeah. Tickleton pushing with the P90, sharp shot. I'm, I'm praying for you, my dude, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna be likely. Yep, Kickstart will do the duty with the grenade. And now Sonics can turn their full attention over towards Toyo after, well, I'm not sure if it was H-Win or Shrimzy, but one of them got a knock onto Toyo. Zone will force Toyo to move and so will Sonics. Here comes Kick and Tiggleton on the flank. They know exactly where they are. They spot them. There's the spray from Tig. He's going to get one. Kick gets another. There's a third and it's all down to Capitan but I believe that EV is about to blow and it Jeez. does. Clean. Sonics up to eight. I'm not even sure, but VHZ will get the trade. Penta will find RBN. Tiggleton's going to steal that one away as VHZ will try to get the res on the RBN, see if Legacy can salvage something here. And there you go, the backstab from Sonic right on time. It's just too easy for Sonics right now. 11 kills. They're going to get us a deny at the end. I think it might just be Sonics get their 21 points. Back-to-back -back chicken dinners. Stun grenade thrown, but Michael might have time to pop a first aid post. It does fall at the hands of Tig. Gizera confirms our page. Ten kills for Legacy now, as it's a 2v3v2, as Panther manages to find kick. And, and you could just see it happening in real time. The Sonics were just waiting for this to happen. As soon as they saw the two knocks coming through, they immediately pounced. They managed to get a couple of knocks here. Legacy still alive in this, despite the fact that uh, Paige was able to take them by surprise. They got the instant knock of return onto him. So now they're gonna try to go for that res. They do spot out Shrimzy, unable to get the knock. Oh, that would have been absolutely huge if they were able to sneak that one away. Shinboy now all of a sudden though, the last player up for friendly fire as it is just all hands on deck. Send anything you can down and Legacy is gonna get picked out by Tiggleton and friendly fire with six kills. Shinboy, you're in a 1v3. Are we gonna take Sonic's three in a row? Well, he's got the chance, he's had the chance for one knock. Gonna try and get the second knock, or the first knock on the tick at this point, so he's got his one. But there's the utility, there's H1, and it's a three in a row. 18 points, Jeez, so not as many so as others, key. but 83 points, okay? That is bananas. Uh, in fact, I think if you took away their kill points with their almost winning first place on alone, they would still be winning. And surprise, surprise, Sonics were able to recover and now they're, they've taken one of the better positions here. Even though it's outside of the circle, they have so much vision on this high ground to just really put the screws to Bestia here as Wooly and TSM, they actually opt to get out. They know Sonics is up there and they know that fighting on the base of that hill, oh no! Wooly gets knocked to a vehicle, but they know fighting on the base of that hill is not it with the Sonics in that position. Crossfire is coming out. Draft King doesn't even have vision on Sonics. He's just taking shots into TSM to see if he can get something, but it is going to be Sparking that gets a knock into him. But a retaliation knock's going to come back as well. There we go. Sonic's making the foot push in. Four members up, looking at a downed member of TSM, just getting rezzed, but now going to have all of the vision to go for the tap. Sparking gets one. Can he pick up the last of them? There we go. Sonic's continues their roll. Nigh unstoppable, as it is going to be seven kills and a victory. Uh, Falcons are going to be wrapping in back behind Luna in just one second. Sonic's also going to contend with a couple of friends over in Pachinki, and that is going to be potentially dangerous. Moving into a potentially dangerous spot, as, yep, it is going to be a Molotov to take down Slabby, who had himself a stellar performance inside that last round. Last member up for his squad. And know exactly how to deal with crashes. I mean, you saw that split from when able to get the off angle, Shrimzy as well. I mean, just strangling teams that try to come in as Theros will also go down. So now Glock all by his lonesome having to deal with foot push coming out from the Sonics. See the fact that they're prepped and ready. Nate's gonna come out, takes a couple of bullets for it, but it is gonna get a knock. That's about all she wrote, though. <laughs> Kick was set and ready. You can see what's on his back there. He was like, yeah, there was no way you were winning this one. A pretty good spot for the time being. They're gonna be in this kind of long barn building. 
And they've been there for a while. Remember, Rats pulled up there much earlier as now Silzen is going to find a nade onto the Sonics. Bestia now trying to take their crack at the current kings of the lobby. Is Huynh's going to get dragged out of that blue zone area? Just having to deal with the trenches right now. Little trench warfare that they're having to deal with. Those Rats are going to be ahead of them. A couple of big movements coming up, but we got to stay focused inside in this firefight. Just blind throw, seeing if maybe one of these nades can connect. Mime. Taking a bit more damage, but not going to come out too much worse for the wearer. Should be able to commit into the res as now Sonics do get their member up. A couple of exchanges in Nage do do a bit more damage, but you can see Sonic can't go for too much. There you go. <laughs> Shrimzy's going to find mine <laughs> and Sills, and that opens the door on the firefight if they want it. But this is a this is just pushing through a bottleneck, and Sonics does not want to do that. They can't go for the peak up because of rats, and now they're just kind of figuring out, okay, how do we want to handle this? Do we go the high ground? Looks like that's what they're thinking about. They might go for the peak up, but, man, it is so dangerous to go for it. And the way that Sonics is closing the doors on these fights is just so beyond impressive, man. I mean, they are really practicing like they want to play at internationals. They're, they're not giving teams an inch Slow and steady, yeah, but Rats had an opportunity earlier to, to try to even stave off this push from Sonics and those chopsticks. Maybe get a little more aggressive, but they just they were just comfortable sitting in the house, so we'll see if that comes back to bite them. I mean, if they're able to haul off the Sonics here, great. If not, they've allowed the Sonics to get right up against that part building, and Kickstart will find two with a huge grenade. All right, everybody knows this building. Are we going to see the push come out, Sonics? You've got a ton of points already. It looks like they're just waiting to get the men all together. They're going to make the press in. There is no vision to be had. You're just playing around sound and cues as you're stepping around. h is going to find out then. That's going to make it a bit more problematic. Now, Gat's the last one up. He He's not got too much more that he can do with this. He's going to get spot out. He's going to go down. Sonic's now in control of the north. Gas cans did regroup over here. They're getting spotted out. Hell of my bad is going to go down. It's going to be a nice one-two punch coming up from Tick and Trimzy. Oh, oh, no it's going to be way. Typhon even looking over here, and they say, no, no. We are done with everything going on around Pachinki. You go on the other side of this hill. We're not dealing with it right now. Hey, you can see Typhon entirely distracted right now. Shin Boy going to be bearing the brunt of all of the Sonic's push. He's going to get spotted in just a second. There we go. Now we're straight up in a 4v3. No big commitment. Just been able to come out quite yet. A couple of shots going to be coming out from Carrick. Maybe trying to stall out what Sonics are wanting to do. But look at the positioning coming out. 2-2. Two, two. Beautiful plays around it. Are we going to see Sonics go for the press down to the south? Or are they going to regroup in the circle? And the problem for Typhon is as soon as Shinboy got that knock, they completely lost track of where Sonic's were. And so they were able to get the spread. They came up, they flushed Shinboy, and now they're blocking off the angles with smoke, giving them even more opportunities to open this fight oh. up. Shrimzy is going to find the spray on the Karax, and again, it's a three on four. This is about to be a ridiculous point total. 14 kills right now. Four people still alive. If Sonic's can walk away with it, it's going to be massive. 28 points. The rich are just going to continue to get richer as these these guys are running around. Not a care in the world. Just confidence galore. Stepping in. Just dismantling every single team they encounter. Sonics got to pick it up again. 28 points. They just are winning everything. Yeah, I mean, that mime counter knock was massive. So it's just TIG, kickstart up, dancing around. They've got the shields for cover, but this is extremely uncomfortable. They know Falcon's position makes them extremely vulnerable from these angles. Kickstart just trying to navigate the smoke, see if they can get some more information. You can see holding just hard angles, seeing who's going to be stepping up. But while this is going on, Typhon has also heard a bit of this and is at range. Not going to be able to get too good of a sight line unless they go around the other side. Good spray from Tig, though, is going to get the knock on to Mime. Are they going to try to exploit? You can see that they're still waiting to see if anybody else is coming around the outside angles for this one. Tig knows something could be happening in any given moment, but instead, DraftKing just playing it as defensively as possible. Instead, sight line, kind of along where H1 is going to be at before. Mime down out right now, realizing the fact the push is going to be coming over, holding a tight angle, goes for the spray in, gets some damage. DraftKing realizing he has to go for the other side of it, goes for the spray he is gonna go down sonics win the moral victory after losing two but at least continue to hold the compound feels like sonics maybe made a bit too many friends taking shots at him though as they've got falcons very committed in making their life hard but kickstart doesn't care he's like that just means that you have to look at me to you want to take some shots that's just open opportunity oh and tickleton's gonna find the other one that's gonna be falcons out and the nigh unstoppable force continues to not relent but also just lost a ton of weight. Kurt also lost, like, all of our players are getting healthy, and that's, it's been super awesome to see, man. I'm so happy for these guys as we unfortunately watched DraftKings get knocked from TIG in that high ground position. But yeah, oh, mental TIG. health and physical health is very important. TIG.
Why are you doing them like that? Let's take a look at the final leaderboard of the day. Sonic's at 160 and continue to push out ahead. TSM has started to separate themselves from third place at 115. Team Falcons at 90. But what this really shows, I think, Cameron, is that the three kings continue to be the three kings. And it's going to be a battle for who gets that last bid, maybe, to go the distance. Oh, a lot of work to do. Amy will get a knock on the shrimps here. Sonic's just finding it a little bit difficult on the edge of the circle. H1 will rock up onto Alo territory as Alo seat swaps across as H1 looking to find the knock and the kill for Sonics against their rivals. Tiggleton is down. Shrimzy is down as well. H1 gets the off angle, managed to get the knock. And what in the name? He got sparking and Kurt with one spray. And it's Luke 12 working on the other side. H1 will see kick fall in the midst of all this as well. Alo will flush out the kill. We have a kind of a vengeance match that's going to be happening as Bestie and Sonics have been rolling right next to each other in the graveyard. Bestie was trying to go for a leapfrog position to try to gatekeep out Sonics, but good defense slowed down. And now Sonics trying to make sure that they catch out Bestie before they can make it to the circle. Nades are going to connect. Spray also just going to come up in a big way. Sonic's going to go ahead and find a ton of kills. Bestia can't even leave their dead. But Sonic's have a fight and a half and Toyo ahead of them. Capitan, Benya, Pipa, and Emmy. The gatekeepers, the bouncers trying to hold them back, checking their cards. Tiggleton will fall as Capitan gets one, but that's just after Kickstart traded it with the nade going the other direction. Two members of Sonic's down. Four kills for them. Remember, TSM, you cannot rule them out of the victory just yet, but they do need Sonic's to fall at this point in time. Haven confirms out the kill as Luna Galaxy are able to steal one away. And TSM are not a million miles away from this fight ever either, but yeah. Sonic's number-wise, they don't want to push. That's the whole reason why Sonics can't move forward. TSM actually has some sight lines on Toyo and Sonics, and they're kind of committed into making sure to keep an eye on this firefight, realizing the opportunity for the leaderboard. Now H1 just having to be a bit more bold, seeing if he can spot anybody above the smoke, does get a headshot, but not much more than that. And that's why you can see the hesitation. Instead of having to play this low side of the hill every single time, TSM being a bit more distracted in their regroup is going to be allowing Sonics to go more aggressive on this one. But is it going to happen fast enough? TSM is very aggressively playing onto this eastern front, realizing opportunity. Toyo also going to spot out a bit more of what's going to be happening over here. H1 is running down the hillside. Last one up. Blue zone right back behind oh. him. He's going to go down. And Rats, they just got a fight to pick with everybody, man. They are, they've got goals this time around. There is no sneaking to be had. They want points, and they don't care who or what you're fighting for. They just want it. They've oh. spotted out two, and now in rotation. Bill Frost going to go for the spray. Oh. It doesn't connect no. as much as he wants, and H1 spins back around, gets the drop. Thin's going to be coming after him, but Bill Frost is instantly flushed. Oh, Bale's just sold. He had the chance to take down Tig, but he turned his attention to H1 instead. H1's going to dance. No, H1's going to get the kill as well. Rats selling hard. But we have to there give it up it to the singular best team, undisputed, the god kings of the three kings in North America, in the Americas region. It is the Sonics.